Hi, this is video 238. On Dave's bench is the bulkhead to Former 35. Former 35 supports the front spar of the tailplane. The oblong holes either side take the track or channel of the 0.5 of an inch calibre ammunition, which passes through Former 35 and 38 on the way to the rear turret. Former, former 35 just sits, sits at the bottom. Oh, does it? Yeah. yeah. Joggled them. Yeah. But they've over there. And then we'll just wait for some materials to make new ones of them. Oh, you haven't got any? <laughs> no, we've run, we've run out. Andrew's ordered some more. So yeah. let's wait. What about the angle which fits around the side? Is that any good? This? Yeah. Yeah, it's looking good. I mean, John or Bob will pass it off eventually, but I've had a look quick look around. It looks like we can use them again. Oh, that's good then, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. We're about to make them here, so. Yeah. Oh, you've got both sides that um, former out 38, is it? Oh, well, yeah, didn't we have that last time? Pardon? Didn't we have it out last time? No, you were on yeah, the, this left side. Yeah, the whole lot's out now, yeah. yeah. Joe allowed to come out of the nose of the Lancaster. What film? I don't know, it's nice. It is um, an F26 5 inch F4 vertical camera. Lovely film. Where's yeah. that from? From the uh, Lancaster nose. Yeah. It sits uh, as you go down from the cockpit down into the bomb areas. It's on the left hand side down there, there's a panel down there and it's, it's a vertical, uh, vertical camera. So it's obviously upside down. I'm just trying to figure out how all these locking mechanisms work. They're all a bit sort of solid, you know. Yeah, no, it's a lovely, lovely thing. Where's a ton? It's going to turn them upside down. Is it 35 mil? No, it's uh, no much bigger. I, I don't know what size would be much bigger than that. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Probably 120. 120, yeah, I think. Then it's 120, then you can get it up and run it. Yeah. Morning, Paris. Morning. Uh, John gave me a good steer this morning. He said, make sure the camera's pointing downwards. Isn't it? <laughs> I never thought about it. Number three, fuel bay cover for Lancaster NX664, the French wing. This wing will be fitted to just Jane. Looks if Keith has screwed and riveted the panel in place. Not sure where number two fuel bay cover is. This is the one John was working on. Here it is. I guess it's waiting for painting. Work still required before refitting into the bay. The tank, as last year, will be the only one feeding the four engines. Yeah. Um, <coughs> so the autopilot's back in, just put that in. Yeah. Uh, what else have we put in? We put the DIS in tank. Back in, that's what the lap what tank? It, this is the icing tank. People, you see, usually as it's a stepping tip, so when you're stepping oh, yeah. out the cockpit into the bomb bay, yeah. into the bomb aimers. So, stuck that in, 
put the handrail back in. We we'll just we put the camera mount in. So oh. Joe's just um, sort of doing that out. Freeing up some of the yeah, because it's it's not it's not corroded. It's just some of the stuff stiff, some yeah. of the knurled nuts. So he's just freeing them up a bit, and then he'll get the camera put back in. Yeah. So we'll get the camera in, and then we've got today. We'll hopefully get the bomb computer in and the bomb aimers panel. Yeah, so good. Yeah, we're looking all right to be yeah. fair. Um, what else have we done? Uh, put the new map. Put the there's a a series a, a number of pipes that run down the starboard side. They go yeah. to the boost gauges for the engines, so they're yeah. connected back up. Yeah. The pneumatics are connected back up. So is the for the brakes. So that's yeah. done. Her tanks back in. So yeah, so it's it's doing Good. Right. It's yeah. progressing, Kate. Huh? Progressing. Yeah. I see. There. I see you've got the wings stood up. Yeah, so the lads did that last week. It was yeah. last Thursday, maybe. Yeah, yeah, it was Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah. They got it stood up, and the lads had made some trestles, you know, for, yeah. for moving it. Oh, back, what yeah. Mount was making the other yeah, week, yeah. yeah. And he's going to use those, put the wing on, and yeah, move yeah. it into position. Yeah, yeah that, yeah. I, I mean, to be fair, I mean, that Bob, I mean, Bob was saying that he's, he weren't, that bomb troll that we used, yeah. you know, he, he, he prefers something, yeah, something proper like that. Yeah. Got well, I mean, spot on, really. it was you couldn't move it anyway, no, you could, could you? Just end up turning the circle, yeah. turning the bus. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it, mobility wise, and yeah. he'd be struggling with it. So yeah. he got the last to make them, yeah. which is spot on. Yeah. What have they said about Jane's legs? Will they be putting them back on? Well, I think what they should do is should do some chicken legs or something like that. <laughs> I mean, just some spiders. Uh, but yeah, yeah I think a the, mermaid. Yeah, but, yeah, I think the artist oh. did the original. Oh, oh and yeah. uh, you've got a feeder at the back, though, yeah, haven't you? Yeah, it's probably been asked to come and, yeah. to come and do it. Yeah, you need... we, we, everybody's been questioning the colour, because if you look at the difference in colour between the French nose and yes. Jane's cockpit, there's a slight... Obviously, Jane's has recently been painted, but yeah. I was speaking to Mike, the painter, and he said it'll flatten out, so once you get it outside, it starts getting a bit weathered. Yeah, well, it will. Yeah. So apparently, it all looked like that when it all was yeah, it did. painted. Yeah, He said it'll soon flatten out, it'll look all right. So, yeah. yeah, it's coming on. Yeah. Yeah. all right, isn't it? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think it went well to go back as it did. Yeah. There wasn't that much even than yeah, chugging. No, no, not really. Yeah. It wasn't that bad, actually. Yeah. Oh, it's very far. Last week I videoed Malcolm and Kim starting to make these two trolleys. The trolleys will be used when the wings on top to line up the wing before fitting to the Lancaster. So what we've got here, Jerb, a Timkin bearing? Yeah, tape and roller bearing for the main wheel. Other tin kin, mate. Um, it most certainly is in this instance. Yeah. Did you get it free, did you? Yes, all done. Uh, just across the gate and I can get in. Got it freed up, Gerald? Yep. All done. Yeah, it was. Um, yeah, it was done. Yeah, it was done. Yeah, it was just that, that piece there was um, not corroded, but just full of gun. Yeah. So that now slides down uh, yeah. there. That then goes underneath the bracket, and then when it's in place, lock it in place with that. So yeah, yeah it's all come. Easy to get out then. Well, yes. Easy to install and to get well, out. I so I haven't installed it yet, but that's the general idea. So, yeah. And same on the other side, yeah, both done. You've got a wheel on the floor. 
But it was on where it came off when you moved out, whether it was on the bench. I think it must have been on the bench, not something I saw from there. No. Oh, Chris and Gerald fitting the camera into its mountings. Chris if he would video inside the nose for me. So a big thanks to Chris again. Lovely, thank you. Yeah, I've got it. Thank you. Right here we are inside the north section of the Lancaster. So this is the French north section that's been put in. So as you can see, um, started putting the autopilot system back in. Started putting the pneumatics in for the brake system, which is up there, brake control valve and stuff up the top. <coughs> and then obviously then you've got your camera. So this is the this is the F24, I think it is, F24 camera that was fitted to the aeroplane. I'll just move the light around so you can actually see. So the camera sits on the bracket assembly. Um, it's got a couple of pins that run through here. So obviously when you want to take the camera out, you undo the pin, take this pin out. That allows this arm then to swing, allows that arm to swing around. So it allows this to swing around, you can swing it out of the way, obviously you need to disconnect the camera so there's a couple of latches underneath, you flick the latches and then the camera then can be disconnected from this mounting bracket. Um, swing this out of the way and then you can just remove the camera. Or you, your photography types and whatnot can go and do the developing and get the film out. So that's how the camera comes out. Um, hope that clears a few things up. I'll land you back to uh, Steven Spielberg who's <laughs> down there with his camera. Can you see him? <laughs> there, there he is. Right. Several members of the staff oh, oh. have gone down with Covid so I decided to uh, play on the safe side. And I wore my mask. That looks good. Are you making it for yourself? No, this is for the cat 
Oh, to put the sprinkles on? On the coffers. I've done a Lancaster one. Oh, have they? Well, I have. This is a Mosquito one. So and, I've got, and I've got a Mitchell one to do. So when you get your cappuccino in the cafe here at Lincolnshire Aviation Heritage Centre, you'll get a Mosquito, a Lancaster, and later on, a V25. That's it. So now you know where to come, folks, to get your coffee. Your door riveted up, your um, cover for the third. Oh, that's only just held on with two screws. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's one of the screws. It's got to come off to get the engine wing. I'll just put one out of the way. Yeah. John's got the subframe engine mounted in, has he? The rear one? Yeah. Yeah. Have they got them ready to go in? Yeah, he's cleaned them all, the paint is going on. You don't know, you're next. What are you doing now? Just moving that out of the way, is Doing the plug rivets on yeah. the other side. Yeah. I thought I'd finished them all, but uh, just checking along there and there's this one I haven't done, I missed it. Not been out for my bedside now. This is the other side where the plug rivets are. These formers will be fitted inside the leading edge of the French wing, NX664. They mount for number one engine control. That gives them all this, isn't it? Yeah. What's this you've got hold of? A uh, bomb computer. Oh. Having a job with the fittings. Hey? I am having a job with the well, fittings. You've got to take the covers off. Yeah. So let's remove it. Uh, I'll turn this round and then you can have a look at it. Alright, oh, right. so. It's a rack. It's Yeah, it looks a bit busy, doesn't it? Mm. It does. It looks very busy in there. Yeah. Very mechanical. Very. And obviously, it doesn't look any better at the back. To be fair. Oh, right, yeah. Just wonderful. Yeah. What's that unit at the bottom, the large? I have no idea. It's like a speaker. You need to speak to one of the avionic towers. Or is it just um, air, yeah, air cooler? Yeah, filter of some description, yeah. I think. Yeah. And what's the bellows type? Are, are they for air pressure? I'd have thought so. Oh, yeah, the thought so, yeah. Aneroid thing like yeah, for air they'll, pressure. They'll be uh, aneroid better than the capsules that yeah, expand yeah. the contract. That's very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Suppose it needs to know how the aeroplane is, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh gosh. Yeah. To make its calculations. It needs to know a lot about the aeroplane. Right, right, thank you. Any time. You've got to put the covers in afterwards, have you?
sein. Yeah. Right, we're going to get some dinner, you know, You've got trouble with one of the brakes then, Brad? Yeah, one of the drums. What, Not, this one? No, it's, it's already been removed and it's in quarantine, but one of the drums where, they, where the pads run around here, um, you've got hairline cracks all over it. Oh, that's And I mean off. all over it. So, scrap it's, then, it's is scrap. it? Yeah, you can't use it. So this is a spare one that we've got. Do you ever, ever have them skinned? No. We haven't. No. There it is. Yeah. Makes hours of fun getting them in and out. Oh, were they? Because they're, they're quite inaccessible to get to the bolts and things. Mm. <sighs> so, uh, we have the technology. Have you got another spare? We've got, we've got four <coughs> spares. We've got, I think we've got, I think we've got a pair on a on a, a new old stock main wheel which is in bonded store Airworthy. I think it's it. Um, and we've got two ground use spares, which is this one and the other one in our spare wheel. So. So you're Sooner okay the, then, it's soon, not well, going to hold you up. No, no, well, no more than anything else. So, but it's going to be, it's sooner or later, we're going to have to get them made. I'll let you get on then, Martin. Well, Bradley's doing the, doing the deed at the moment. You don't look too bad for now, bro. They've moved you off stringers then, have they? Uh, I'm just going to put the badge off. Just one of the other lads, Dave Frey, started it, but he, uh, he's not in at the moment, so I'm just using the job for us. Mm. Put that one on there. Yeah. What was it? Corrosion? Uh, these straps had um, damaged the metal. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. So the, the straps, the straps weren't doing what they were supposed to do properly, so they were pulling, they were pulling down, and uh, yeah, all, all, it, yeah. All the metal around here was uh, got a bit damaged on it. I was that badly fitted or what was I don't know. Yeah. I can't possibly comment. <laughs> um, I mean, didn't mean here, I meant years ago. Oh, I don't know. Either yeah. way, I don't know. It, yeah. it's, something wasn't right, so it wasn't yeah. doing what it's supposed to be doing. When you see the thin material, these straps holding, yeah. well, yeah. I suppose a ton of petrol yeah, when it's uh, full. Yeah. yeah, there's only four straps. Yeah. I think the uh, inboard tank's got fired, I'm not sure. Oh, it's a bigger one, isn't it? Yeah. Way more. This, this, well, this tank holds 400 gallons, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, fill it up, please. Hell, oh, that cost yeah, you a bit. <laughs> right, okay, Norman, thank you. I'll be, I'll be down the bottom end of the Yeah, good. Go on to the springer. <laughs> <laughs> 
Brian, yeah, fetch the yeah, faulty yeah. drum to show me. Make a nice clock for someone. <laughs> it is li that's literally all it's good for now. We can't, can't even use it as a test one. No. You know, to put the, when, when you see us testing the brake units, yeah. you've, you've got a slave one. That's right. That's yeah. not serviceable for use, but it's safe to do the tests with. Yeah. This is not even safe to do tests with. Do you think it could even crack under those pressures when you're doing well, you, the test? You use higher pressures in the tests. Oh, yeah, that's true, yeah. Yeah, yeah the, the, we only put about um, yeah. so when 60, was this 70 last off, then? It was last looked at at the very start of 23, because we had to change some bags. It was OK. It was fine. Just There's so many you. cracks there, are not there? Well, once it starts, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can feel your finger now go in it. Yeah. Got a ridge on it as well, which is very nice. Yeah. But once these start to go, it'll just tear your pads to shreds. Yeah. yeah. And the, you can't skin that out, no. it's no. No, it's dead. But it's it's getting quite thin anyway. Yeah. What about the rest of with this heating up? Does it affect the actual wheel itself in the material now. Right. Just well, the wheel's a magnesium alloy. Yeah. Oh, right. Thanks it doesn't Fred. retain the heat. It doesn't retain the heat for very long. No. It does get very hot. Yeah. But it, can it must do, hot. you know, all that weight yeah. pulling up. Well, you don't really, you don't really need to use them. But like when we do the, the, we call it the noise run, the quick run. Yeah. When you just shut the throttles, the aeroplane will stop. Yeah. As long as you're not tearing down the runway, the aeroplane will just pull up on its own. You don't really need to use the brakes right. to stop it. Yeah. Especially when the ground's soft. Yeah. Yeah, it's surprising how little it wants to roll. Yeah. With it being a grass runway, when it comes into land, is it easier to lock the tyre than it is on a asphalt or concrete? I suppose it would be easier because there's less friction. Yeah. If you get one tyre, one side pulling a bit more than the other, I suppose you could be careful on that. Yeah. yeah. You wouldn't fly it in conditions where it would be... No. ...hazardous. No. And no. You could, from here, you could always divert into Coningsby and spend yeah. the night there and then come back. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Thanks, Brad. All right. Yeah, thank you.